The ESP32 Thing board, as its name implies, is an ESP32 based board for the Internet of Things. And one question that we get a lot with this board is, how can I use it to switch something bigger than an LED? And now we have a simple answer to that question. The ESP32 Thing Power Control Board. Now this board allows your ESP32 Thing to switch loads up to 5 amps, anywhere from 5 to 28 volts, using these six outputs. The way this board works is it has three NXP motor drivers on the back of it. And these motor drivers are what allows the ESP32 to switch such a large load. You can power the board through the barrel jack connector or through the screw terminals, but we don't recommend using the barrel jack if you're going to be switching higher than two and a half amps. Also, if you're gonna be driving a very high current load with this, you probably wanna add a heat sink and a fan to keep things cool. Speaking of cool, one thing I really like about these chips is that they have a built-in current sensor, which we've amplified and then connected to some of the I.O. pins on the ESP32, so that your project can actually monitor how much current is going through these driver chips. Finally, if you're looking for a way to interface this board with a heat sink, you might try some of this thermal gap filler material. This is the same material that we include with our Stepoco CNC control board, and it provides both electrical isolation and thermal conductivity. It's a really poor conductor of electricity, a very good conductor of heat, so it's good for keeping your board separated from, say, the metal frame of a machine, while still allowing all of the heat to leave the components so it won't damage anything. This material is very flexible and it also remains stable through a pretty high temperature range. And we're making it available in these nine by nine inch square sheets. And you can cut these with basically a pair of craft scissors. Also, to connect your ESP32 Thing to your Thing Power controller board, we've started to stock these stackable headers, which are exactly the right size for the ESP32 Thing. So make sure to pick up a pair of these if you're going to use these on your next IoT project.